lovelies it's joe from angels and ancestors and today is friday it's the 20th of september um oh i'm not taking them they're miles too many i know i said i was learning lessons to take twos but i'm not going to take a pile of them for, the, for today no matter what the energies are we had a beautiful reading yesterday um it kind of brought a story together that started on Monday um, and kind of unveiled itself. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, kind of unveiled itself um, over the week and ended up with a really beautiful um, ending yesterday. Um, so with Saturn now going direct you're going to be able to cope with so much more that you couldn't while he was in retrograde um, he's the Lord of Karma trust in him to be able to um, help you move forward and upwards um, and not kind of look back too much can I have a card from the Angels and Ancestors of Advice for Friday the 20th of September please don't forget this is a daily reading it is a general reading it won't resonate with anybody and I think this week has been specific for a small number of you um, so take what you can and leave the rest realise what is um, in the radio it's just made me chuckle <laughs> I shouldn't laugh really it's not nice so there we go we'll have that one. Oh, okay so we're just going to ask the angels and the ancestors for some uh, knowledge and wisdom around the radium for Friday the 20th of September, thank you. Oh, we've got a couple. Is it just a couple or three? Yeah, it's a couple. Okay, so what fell out, and the reason I'm chuckling is because there's been these cups all week. We had the five of cups at the beginning of the week with somebody who's purposely full of fit purposefully spilling these cups out. One was already empty, one was being poured out. And then in the middle of the week, we got um, the eight of cups where somebody had stuck the cups up beautifully along the seashore and you turned your back on them and that you were saying uh -uh, no way Jose I'm going over here um, and it was all about healing and um, standing in your power now you've got the four of chalices which is the cups and you look so fed up but I'm not getting the feeling that you're fed up from not seeing the cup I think you're getting fed up because this person is coming back round again and is saying, look, I've still got the cup. Do you want it back? And you're like, I'm, I'm so done with this. I am so done with going around and around and around in circles. This is just ridiculous. And you're just like, really? Just, I don't, I'm, I'm not sure I even want it. I don't think you've 100% decided you don't want it. But you're kind of at that place at the moment where you turned your back during the week and you started to do some healing. And that healing with the Holly King is continuing. It's asking you to look within. It's asking you to meditate. It's asking you to take yourself off to a safe place where you can safely think things through and come up with the conclusions and um, what serves you best going forward from here let the light of his lamp guide you to where you need to be you know the holly king is a peaceful 
um, he's a hermit in other in other um, decks he's the hermit and he goes off and he sits on mountains and um, by the sea and all of that sort of stuff and he does all this deep deep thinking this deep rooted is this in my best interest is and he that's what he's saying to you he's beckoning you he's come out twice this week so he's beckoning you please 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 do this work it's going to be so worth it for you um even if you decide even if you decide that you are going to accept that cup back by doing this healing you will stand in your power the light will be shining upon you you will stand in your power you will find a way forward to repair this if you accept it back if you don't accept it back because you're fed up to the teeth with it you still need to do some healing around that for yourself not for anybody else for yourself so then we have the leap of faith which is the archangel metroton and it says Believe in yourself, listen to your heart, and do what gives you joy. So if you're feeling that this is in your higher interest, go for it. If you feel it's not in your higher interest, leave it alone. But please do this healing, it's so important. Then we ask the angels and the ancestors if they could give us um, some knowledge and wisdom around this. And we got the seer, and it says, see beyond the current situation. And it's not just seeing beyond the current situation, it's seeing beyond the current time. Um, you know, is this something that is being repeated or is going to be repeated? Are you going to be able to trust um, what's going on ever again? Um, and also, it may be that this other person that poured out these cups have got other issues around them that you haven't seen yet, that you haven't been privy to yet. So kind of like try and see in your mind's eye and try and lift yourself up so you can see above down um, on the situation and remove yourself from it. And I think this is what the Holy King is saying, is remove yourself from the situation so you can see it with some more clarity. And then we've got given the Father Sky, which is trust in the unknown. Um, it's a leap of faith, I know, to trust in the unknown, to trust something that you don't know, whether it exists or not. Um, but the angels and the ancestors are clearly, clearly giving you a message for Friday, um, the 20th of September, that, you know, you need this leap of faith. You can do this. You, you can listen to your heart. You can... And if you can hear that tip tapping on any of the videos, it's Mick coming in and out of the house here. And he needs to go outside and have a stretch by the looks of things. So, yeah, so trust in the unknown. So we don't know what the future holds. It is unknown to us. We don't know what's going to happen today, this afternoon, this evening. We don't know what's going to happen over the weekend or even next week. But we do trust that we are going to journey into those unknown realms of tomorrow. Um, and to have trust in the unknown comes natural to human beings because we don't know the future. Um, but to have trust and leap of faith um, and trust in ourselves that we have the insight and the intuition... Um, to trust our hearts, our thoughts and our feelings. Um, it's just a beautiful way to end the week and this story that's kind of unfolding. I can't wait to get to Saturday and Sunday to see what happens. Have a fabulous Friday, guys. If you're going out tonight, be safe. If you're not going out tonight, have a nice time anyway. And many bright blessings until the next reading. Bye for now. Thank you.